Hi everyone, it's Dale Walker here, natural perinatal correction specialist. And today I received a, a email question regarding taping and bracing of toes, or even um, just addressing the toes and why is it that we have to work at other places in the foot in order to impact the toes. So let me go ahead and explain that using this foot model. So obviously this is the ball of the foot and these toes um, have three joints on the four lateral toes and the big toe has two joints. And these toes are directly impacted by the bones that are touching them. These are called the metatarsal bones. And they're flat and long. They're almost uh, like a seesaw, all right? I like to think of them as a dimensional moving type of seesaw. So I took this tongue depressor to kind of illustrate that a metatarsal, okay, this is the foot that's flat, can um, go into this position, it can go into this position, it can go this way, it can go this way, or it can rotate. And when it does that, it will then impact the next joint of the toe. So if a metatarsal, okay, so if, let's say the second metatarsal is pointed in a downward position, this guy right here is pointed in a downward position, the next joint will come up, relatively speaking, the following joint will come down and then the next joint will come up. That's a hammer tone, okay? With a bunion, for example, when this metatarsal, the first metatarsal deviates outward, the hallux or the big toe deviates inward. And then sometimes there's even a rotational type of action at the metatarsals that cause the toes to rotate or accommodate um, to offset that abnormality in other parts of the foot. Now, we have so many joints in the foot over 50, right? Um, a adaptation can occur kind of anywhere in the foot and even in the lower leg. So that's why I've typed a bunion type called a walking bunion. And a walking bunion is often impacted by um, things that are going on in the lower leg and thighs. So if you don't know what your bunion type is, go ahead and click on the link below and you can take a test to figure out what kind of bunion that you have. Now, another reason for bunions is actually because of a bone right here, which um, oftentimes can be um, tilted and then that can cause the metatarsal to deviate, which intersects the foot. So again, the body is, or the structure of the body is a manifestation of our compensation. And the body will do anything to maintain balance. Oftentimes, those manifestations show up in the toes. And that's why it's important for us to address the causation first, okay? And then go ahead and address the realignment of the toes after we do our release work to the toes. Um, so that we can then reteach the body, the, the toe, how to rebalance those connective tissues and the muscles so that it can then hold the toes in the proper alignment. So great question. Thank you so much. If you have any other questions, please go ahead and um, respond in any way, shape, or form. You can put a comment. You could like, you could share, you can PM me, you can answer an email. Um, however you want to get in touch, if you have a question, don't hesitate, just reach out and I'll go ahead and maybe shoot a video or get back to you um, via chat. So have a great week, everyone, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next training. Ciao.